Hey guys, Owen here, and these are my 25 top tips that should hopefully help you make your models go from looking like this to looking like this. Mix some warm soapy water with a splash of vinegar and wash all the parts in it. This will help the paint stick. Paint small parts while they are still on the sprue or stick them to some blue tack made into a handle for easier painting. Cut out fragile parts along with some of the surrounding sprue, then neaten them up. This will avoid damaging the part. Practice assembling parts before applying the glue so you can make sure they actually fit without getting in a mess. Try and get glue which has a fine applicator nozzle. If not, apply the glue with the end of a paintbrush handle to avoid spills. Make sure the contact area between parts are free of paint so the glue can bond the plastic properly. Use clothes pegs or masking tape to clamp parts together while the glue dries. Use smooth finish filler or special modelling filler to fill the gaps between parts. Use fine grey sandpaper to smooth out joints and moulding seams. Leave any small fragile parts off the exterior of the kit until after painting. This will avoid damaging them. Use paint conversion charts so you don't have to buy loads of different brands of paint. Links are in the description. Mix your paint with an equal amount of thinners or to the consistency of milk to help you avoid getting visible brush strokes. Use the widest brush you have for large areas and try to paint all in one direction. This will minimise visible brush strokes. Paint the lightest colour first where possible as it is harder to paint a lighter colour over a darker one. Apply at least three to four thin coats of paint, never one thick coat. Use masking tape to get straight sharp edges between colours. Brush away from the tape to avoid a paint build up along the edge. A pencil can be smudged along panel lines and painted over to get a pre-shaded effect. A gloss coat under the decals will stop them from silvering. Watered down PVA glue can also act as a semi-gloss coat to the same effect. Use decal solution to help the decals conform to the surface of the model and reduce the silvering. Use chalks or soft pastels for washes as they can be reactivated with water later. Links in the description. Seal decals and washes with a clear coat. Use a very fine brush and a stippling motion to create paint chipping. Use black and brown chalk or soft pastels for exhaust stains and black chalk or soft pastels for gun smoke. Paint clear parts with acrylic paint. Sharpen a piece of sprue and gently scratch off any mess. Attach clear parts with PVA glue as it dries clear and doesn't react with the plastic. Finally, some things I can't teach you are patience and practice. Also, try not to be put off by some of the amazing models out there, as usually the modeler will have spent months on just one kit and also had many years of practice. Instead, try and learn from what they have done and use that knowledge to improve your own moulds. And just think, at one point they'll only have been as good as you are. Most importantly, have fun, because what's the point in doing the hobby if you're not enjoying it? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.